Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, Faisal. Good morning, Jamie. How are you both? Our probably our last day doing Raven. So just this bit under the neck to do. What have you got planned today then, Faisal? Are you doing anything fun in London today? Hamleys and Leicester Square for today. Oh, you'll love Hamleys. We went to Hamleys when we were up in London in August. Thankfully, when you go around Hamleys, it won't be in the middle of a heat wave, so it'll be a lot more comfortable for you to go around there. feel sorry for the people at the front though that stand at the front door and you know because they're dressed in some sort of costume and they have to dance all day at the door when we went in August there was like a guy um, at the front of the store out on the street and music was quite an upbeat tempo piece was playing and he was dressed as like a mad professor and it was so hot I mean this was like 10 o'clock in the morning and already it was so hot and this poor guy was having to dance, dance, dance and how he managed to keep going for however long his shift was I have no idea Morning Hayley, how are you? <laughs> You're in pain, yeah I bet you are. 
going from the heat that you're used to. Is it seven, is it seven degrees? What does it say that we've got here at the moment? Um, yeah, nine degrees, light rain for the next hour, and it's absolutely blowing a gale where we are. It's 12. Well, that's not too bad. 12's okay. That's 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 doable. six or seven years ago from um, from this store it was a Heli Hansen winter coat and when I first got it it was beautifully waterproof <laughs> beautifully waterproof and just what you needed for the UK but now after however many years I've had it the waterproof thing doesn't work as well and the last few times I've gone out in it when it's been raining when I take it off, my shoulders are wet. And so it's not very, uh, it's just not doing its job anymore. So I need to get a new winter coat. experiencing it though um, Faisal because this means when you go back home and you're listening to us moan about the temperatures over here and we say oh it's like 10 degrees or whatever you'll be, you'll know <laughs> what we're complaining about right okay so now I need to do this next bit so we still have
um, when's Mango's new jumper coming? I, <laughs> I'm surprised you know about that, but obviously you've been speaking to Becca. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, actually. I was going to pop out and see if I could get her some earlier on in the week. But uh, never got the opportunity because we can't have our little our little girl getting cold. And before anyone says anything about Mango's dog, she's got a fur coat and she should be absolutely fine. Golden uh, Golden Retrievers, Yorkshire Terriers um, have hair, not fur, so they feel the cold in a way a dog doesn't, which is why you see a lot of Yorkie Terriers wearing little coats and things in the winter. So they don't have undercoats, they don't have thick fur, they just have hair, which makes them the perfect dog for people with allergies because they don't shed. Uh, in winter, we will have under 10 degrees. Oh wow, okay. Uh, but I'm not fully ready for that weather since it was 35 plus when you left home. Oh my God, you're so lucky. Matthew, hello, good morning. Thank you. Yeah, I'm very pleased with the eyes. Very pleased with the eyes. My day been well. It's still um, first thing in the morning, really, for <laughs> for here. But yeah, my day is going very well. Thank you. You're just having some soup. Mm, what kind of soup? What is everybody's favourite soup? Late night snack. <laughs> Why not? tried lentil soup, Faisal. You need more homemade. Well, I think soup is pretty easy to make, isn't it? 
It's meant to be anyway. I do make a um, golden noodle soup, which is really nice. Lots of rice noodles, lots of turmeric. Right, so this fur goes out in this direction. Artsman, how are you? I really like that picture you put on Discord of the, the sort of like bulldog with the headscarf and the cigarette <laughs> hanging from its lip. Imagine that cat head on a humanoid body with a spear and armour. <laughs> what like a like an Egyptian sort of god in a Stargate movie or something. trying to keep an eye on the direction of this fur because it all goes in different directions as we get to this centre part. So just trying to keep an eye on that. see the detail that I'm putting in too clearly on the camera because of the light but when I show you the picture at the end when I put it on discord you'll probably be able to see it a bit better
reminds you of Winston Churchill. You mean Artsman's Bulldog, right? Not my cat. Churchill the dog from those car insurance adverts. This to a duck is the definition of after a storm comes a rainbow. <laughs> I mean, it looks like I'm going to be drawing that duck's head. Um, which is going to be a little bit of a challenge because it, obviously it's got like iridescence in the feathers. And I'm not sure how to draw iridescence. So it might just have to be a, those colours. I'm not sure how I'm going to achieve the effect of iridescence. So um, it's going to be a challenge. It might just look like a duck, but it doesn't look very iridescent. But we'll give it a go. That's what art's all about, isn't it? It's about um, challenging myself and not being afraid to make mistakes that's what I've always said so it'll either be a success or it won't <laughs> I mean I know this cat has not been your guys um, favorite thing uh, but I'm very pleased with it I'm very pleased that I Looking at the reference picture, I'm I'm very pleased with the likeness that I've got, and uh, I can definitely see that I have improved. So, you know, since we did Derek, so I'm very pleased about that. And so the little duck is going to be my next big challenge. But I think I'm going to do it on a portrait piece rather than a landscape. Just because of the way the, the picture will sit on the page. I just think it will look better as a portrait rather than on a landscape piece. <laughs> it would be better if I never draw a duck. Do you know what, Faisal? When you said no duck uh, yesterday and I started looking on Pixabay, I actually started looking at um, a load of uh, fantasy pictures like, you know, dragons and fairies and um, fantasy landscapes and things, thinking, do I go really out of my comfort zone and try and do something along that because there's a lot of AI generated art that was free to use and I was like should I do a fantasy picture and I really did think about it but then I couldn't decide on on any and I thought it doesn't really stick with the whole animal art thing even though technically a dragon is an animal but what do you guys think do you think that, um, would you be interested in seeing some fantasy art? I just think that would be fun to do something, something different every now and again. I rejected the duck, yeah, I would have bad fine. <laughs> Ducks in space. <laughs> yeah. Um you're down for fantasy art? Yeah? Oh okay. Cool. Okay, well maybe after the duck then I will 
I will have a look at some fantasy pieces and put them up on Discord again and you guys can vote. But we'll do the duck first. Because you've been asking me for a duck for a long time, so... Hayley, I know what you meant. I thought you was getting all sort of um, RuPaul on me going, yes. <laughs> these curl, curl around here just a little bit. This is still the um, Vista that I'm using in this Lighter shadow. All right, so over here we've got like a got a bit of a dark shadow. I think actually I need a little bit of um, this warm grey, just where the shadow is casting over the fur. Uh, can you remove the mod from Jamie who don't feel safe? <laughs> about a duck with a cigar and a scarf that would be kind of cool maybe you should draw that I hereby task you artsman to draw a duck with a cigar and a scarf show your art artsman to like your family and your friends what do they what do they think to you drawing what's their opinion or do you just do it for like a hobby it's just for yourself or do you you know show it anywhere or Post it on Facebook, Insta, different discords. Oh, okay. Yeah, you should show everybody.
did you ever finish um Jamie did you ever finish watching that Jimmy Savile thing The Reckoning what did you think to the whole thing have you finished watching it with your dad Yeah, bye Faisal. Have a great day at Hamley's. Thanks for joining. I love that. I love the fact that he's travelled halfway around the world to enjoy London and yet he still has been making the time to pop in and say hi and join the stream while he's on holiday. I just think that's That's so amazing. I really appreciate that. Yes, you finished it. It was crazy, wasn't it? That that dead woman in the hospital. I mean, I didn't know about that. I thought it was just into like young young kids but to do that it left me wondering whether that bit was real or whether that bit scene was added for dramatization or something Football chant? Oh, I didn't know there was a football chant about him. What an odious man he was. gently putting in uh, a couple of shadows here on this side of the body because um, this is the side that's got the, the light on it and this side as you can see from the reference picture is the bit that's in shadow so I'm just sort of trying to put in where we've got some shadow from Sophia that she had the chocolate point on the eyes and obviously on the face and then as you went to her back there was some uh, speckling of brown on, on the back so I'm just oh god hang on sorry chance about it really oh but well, this is what happens when you don't watch football so. don't worry you don't have to tell me what they are I don't really think I want I want it in my in the chat oh for goodness sakes Just a little bit of 
at that blue tone. about the new um, Valorant agent that I saw yesterday. So it looks like a duelist. Looks like it's called ISO, which seems... be interesting to find out what his uh, util is. Add a little bit of grey in this shadow as well. I'm doing now is I'm just sort of looking at the picture as a whole and just seeing where there's bits that leap out at me as requiring something extra before I go in just to finish off those whiskers. So on the reference picture obviously the cat's got a blue background so the white whiskers stand out but there's no way I'm going to be able to get white whiskers to stand out on this white background not such thin lines like that so I think I'm going to have to leave them as a very sort of light grey Yesterday, Nick and I went to, um, we had to go to the local hospital because I had an, uh, an appointment. And um, when we got there, it was luckily we got there early because there was literally nowhere to park. And we'd been told to allow three hours for this appointment. And um, we got there at like 20 past two in the afternoon and the car parks were heaving. And the car parking charge is like £3.50 an hour. And we was like, right, okay. So we're looking at like um, 13, 13 quid if we're here for the three hours. And then anyway, we went to this appointment and uh, luckily we were only there for two hours, which technically should have been £7, right? 
So we go to put in a car registration at the car, at the car park for them to tell us how much we now owe them. Came up as two quid. <laughs> right, <laughs> let's take that. Let's take that and go before it suddenly changes its mind. But uh, it was really funny. There was this one lady in the waiting room. And she came prepared for a long wait. I mean, normally you expect to see someone there with maybe a book. This lady had got her laptop. She'd got herself a drink. She'd got a little Tupperware box with uh, carrot batons and monge too in it. She had a separate pot of hummus. And she set it up all around her. <laughs> like she was having some sort of picnic in the middle of this NHS waiting room. <laughs> it was just like, just kept looking at her in disbelief as more and more things kept coming out of her bag as she sort of set herself up to have this long wait in the waiting room. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> knowing that this is going to be a long way and you've just sort of like don't care what anyone else thinks I'm not going to be hungry I'm not going to be thirsty I'm going to be comfy, I'm going to have something to do I'm not going to be bored but yeah, she did make me smile oh, hang on um, you can answer the phone if you want just oh, it's alright, I heard Nick answer the phone so it was, it was fine uh, she is probably a regular. Oh, space duck. Right, sorry, I didn't see that. Ugh, right, a space duck. Oh. Space duck. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Just trying to think how to do a space duck. Uh, let's do it. Let's see it. Basic shape of the dark. Basic shape of the dark, right? But then it's gonna have like it's gonna have like a helmet on. This little head. Its head's gonna be like this shape. <laughs> Why do you make me draw these things? Oh my god. There we go, a little space duck. <laughs> His poor body is exposed to space, but I couldn't think of how to do him inside a little, um, little astronaut's outfit. Should I give him like a little space gun? How do I draw a little space gun on a duck? It's not like you can hold it. That's what it's going to have to be. It's going to have to be that. It's going to have to be your space duck. Making me stretch my wings. <laughs> well, the wings aren't being stretched very much here, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, yes, uh, just going back to the phone call thing, I could have... Uh, muted the sweet stream and answered it 
but um, sometimes when you're talking to the older generation the phone calls go on for quite a long time and um, you probably would have been muted for quite a while and then we would have lost half the stream so I knew Nick would answer it Yeah, it is a good thing that the doodle is so cheap. Um, I deliberately set it cheap so that you could all see how bad I actually draw if I don't have anything to copy from. So you can see that I'm crap, basically. <laughs> Without anything to copy from, I'm not very good. But... Um, but it's fun. I thought it would be funny. So there we go. It is funny. you don't know this is just a slice tool that just sort of takes off the top layer of color and just helps to add some uh, defining features to fur you can use it in many different ways but it adds a little bit of texture it adds a little bit of highlight Doodle the first thing that comes to your mind. Oh God. Uh, let me get a different bit of paper. Oh, that one's all used up. The first thing that comes to my mind. First thing that comes to my mind is just a clown's face, so I'm just gonna do um
Sorry for anyone who's got clown phobia. <laughs> the first thing that came to my mind. I was a clown, the first thing that came to my mind. There's got to be some psychology there, right? Right, okay. So, let me just... Sharp pencil for this. Sharp pencil for whiskers. What was the doodle? Oh, it was, um, I just did a clown's face. It was the first thing that came to my mind. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yes. I was just going to add a little bit of burnt sienna just over this. And a little bit of black. Just really 
so important to get these eyes right. its cross eyes beautifully yeah I'm very pleased with the eyes I must say and Siamese do have um, slightly crossed eyes because they have such a prominent nose and so they just look like they're a little bit crossed out cross-eyed but I like that I think that makes them look cuter I love the fact that throughout the entire how many how many hours I've worked on this hang on um, it's on this isn't it just let me just double check how many hours has this taken me Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen hours. The fourteen hours that this um, putty cat has taken, that you have continuously <laughs> claimed that it has a buck tooth, or it looks like it has a buck tooth. No one can change Jamie's mind, clearly, despite evidence to the contrary that it is not a book tooth. Because if it had teeth, it would come out here and here, where their fangs are. So anyway, so there we go. Raven, in all her magnificent buck toothed glory, um, I am really, really pleased with this picture, chat. I know it's not been your favorite, but I am really, really pleased with it. I feel that I've got the features exactly. I did the chocolate point the way I wanted it to look, so it looked more like Sophia 
than it did that picture. I didn't go as dark as that picture because I wanted it to look more like Sophia and she was a lighter chocolate. So I am very happy with that and yeah, I'm very pleased with my first, is it the first cat we've done on this stream? I think so. Yes, Jamie, it does look like a book tooth to you. I will say that it looks like one to you. It doesn't to me, but to you it does. So there we go. So yes, so that's Raven done. So I will work on getting the line art for the duck. Uh, it looks like it's going to be the duck's head. Um, thank you, guys and uh, hopefully we'll be able to start the duck tomorrow so Jamie get your naming committee hat on for that one and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow so thanks very much for joining me enjoy the rest of your day I hope something nice happens um, and that you do something lovely for yourselves so thanks guys thanks for joining me have a good one bye